Just going off last year, I, I end the season well. But we're just getting better. It's a new year, getting better each year. What do you think attributes to the slow start you had last year? Well, I don't know, man. We're just growing, man. Uh, we're getting better each. I try to get better each game. Try to show improvement and stuff like that. And uh, at the end of the season, I guess I came well at the end. What was the difference with the end of the season? Man, or? man, really just just going out there and just. Knowing with the, um, the quarterback, what I put on film earlier during the season, stuff they're going to try to attack, and really just working on that. Was there anything that you changed, uh, you know, in October, November, as far as how much you studied film, anything technique-wise that might have led to you playing so long? Well, um, um, I was pressing more at the, towards the end of the season, man. I was wanting to get my hands on the guys and stuff like that. But um, nothing nothing in film. I stayed watching film. Um, so really nothing really just changes, changing my technique, really. Do you feel like you're past the – Oh yeah, yeah, man. We gotta turn it up to the next level. New year, um, new team, man. New goal. So we just gotta go out there and just compete, man. So for you, what stuff just kind of comes naturally now? What stuff were you trying to learn in those first couple of years, and now it's just very natural? Well, I say um, just um, learning formations and stuff like that. Um, knowing what I put on film, what um, what quarterbacks try to attack and stuff like that. So and just looking what my weakness is at and stuff that I need to improve with that a lot of quarterbacks try to go to. Xavier, when you say you were pressing more, was that your decision to do that or the coaches told you to do that or how did that come about? Um, the coaches, they say they want to put our hands on receivers and stuff like that. Um, we played a couple good receivers and stuff like that. So just knowing what I best, what I strength, what my strength is doing is just pressing. So um, just knowing what I, what I do well. Would you like to do that more, like maybe all the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have no problem pressing, man. That's um. I did that in college, pressed a lot, so um, just yeah. to the next level, just really just turning it up. How would you express the personality and leadership style of your new position coach, and what's like a message uh, that he's been saying to you guys a lot? Um, man, we just really coming out. We just got to finish, man. You got to finish strong. Um, certain stuff that we had put on film and stuff last year that we was getting with people that seen, so um, he's just really telling us finish, man, and try to make plays out there. Yeah, your personality is? What's his personality? The secondary coach. Well, he played in the lead a couple of years, so um, he, he he really can um, contribute and let us know what we what we doing wrong and stuff like that. And just knowing he knowing he been out there and he know how how it is when we out there on the field. Xavier, do you have concrete goals for this year? Pro Bowl interception, anything like that? No, no, man. It's just team, man. We try, just trying to get better each day. Xavier, how would you how, how would you know this is a good year for you then? What 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 is it that would say, man, I had a good year this year? Um, man, we just. just Really just, I just say just going out there and really just compete, man. I don't know, whatever comes to the end, whatever we do, whatever we have, and stuff like that. What are your impressions thus far of uh, Minka? Sir? What are your impressions thus far of Minka? Oh, man, he's a great guy, man. Um, I seen him make a lot of plays at Alabama, so I was watching him well when I was in, uh, well, when I was in the league and just seeing him out there making plays. I know he's he a playmaker. Um, I really, really think nothing about it, man. Um, he bring competition to the group. Um, everybody out there working. Nobody have a job right now. No, nobody know they're gonna start or not. So we just we just bring competition to the group. How many times has it all of you watched the, the Pats game and your play in that game? He's watched it a single time since the season ended. Uh, I'm not really I'm not really focusing on that, man. It's a new year. I gotta achieve some more more than that. Are, are you more likely to watch tape of? Games maybe where you didn't play as well as you wanted, right. as opposed to games where you played really well. Yes, sir. Stuff you got to learn on. Like, man, like I was saying, I had to go back and watch film, see what I was doing wrong, that on quarterback was attacking. So just going off that, just really just watching film, overall watching other players, what they do well, stuff like that, and just learning. When you talked to Matt Burke at the end of the season, what did he tell you needs to happen for you going forward? I need to start fast. He just said, I need to start fast. I need to finish, start how I end the season. So is that require a different approach to the offseason than what you've had, or is that just going to be a natural progression based on the Yeah, experience? natural progression, just knowing just knowing what I did and just knowing I got to feed off that and I got to turn it up. This is year three for you now. How yeah. important a season is this? It's a big season for me and the team, man. we just going out there. Um, we had a, and have a good good season last year, I say. Um, we're just trying to get better each day and just come out there and play ball. A lot of times players, big, big league from one to two, and then year three, they really become the players that are going to be in their career. See that as this, the year, this is the year that you can really establish yourself as one of those elite corners. In, in oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I believe that. Yeah, I, can be, I believe I can be a top corner in the league. 
just going out there, just really just playing. So I just say, just going out there and playing and just doing me. Were you good the last two years, in your opinion? No, I struggled a lot, man. It's a part of just coming to the uh, NFL. Stuff that I was doing in college, I can't do in the league. You see different receivers and stuff like that. So really just learning the game and knowing, knowing what I can do, knowing what, what I'm best at doing and just sticking to that. Instead of trying to do everything else that I know I, what my weakness and stuff like that. So really just knowing what I do well. So were you frustrated often? No, really frustrated, just really just, yeah, really, yeah, really just learning everything, trying to get to it. I was really big on trying to, trying to know what they're going to do and stuff like that. And then in college, I, re I wasn't really watching film and stuff like that. I was just going to my athletic ability. But in the league, man, it's a different level. Technically, you're competing against him right now, but what are you seeing in Ryan Tannehill? Oh, man, that's a great guy, man. We need, we need him a lot. Um, he's a big expert out there. We know just going against Ryan Tannehill, man, I see a lot of good things in him and stuff like that. And as you say, we compete against each other. And he's making me better, and I'm making him better. From 2016, last year not getting to see him at all, is he looking more like the guy you competed against back then? What do you see? Oh, yeah, man, he's getting better, man. As I say, man, um, we right now, it's the second day of OTA, well, third day of OTAs, and we're we just getting better. We're going to see how it go. Xavier, how much time, if any, have you spent, and the other DBs have spent, on addressing the NFL's new rules regarding tackling, leading with the helmet, possible uh, penalties, ejections, if you do it the wrong way. How much have you guys talked about that and thought about how it might affect your style? Um, well, I would say um, it was, um, I haven't really, really looked into it like that. But um, I say um, it really expect nothing how how we tackle stuff like that. Um, even though. Um, certain ways people tackle leading with their head and stuff like in different situations offensive players have defensive players in so we just gotta know how to tackle and do everything well we practicing that a lot right now OTAs. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.